Hi, this is one from the KSAMS and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you five things that you can do with the debug stick. First off, what is a debug stick and how do you get it? Well, a debug stick was originally used by Mojang as a debugging tool and its one and only use is to flick through the different block states of a block if applicable. It later was made available to the public in the 1.13 update Aquatic on Java only. Unfortunately for Bedrock users, how do you use the debug stick? Well, you press left click to change the category of the block states, as you see here. While pressing right click will change the block states itself, as you see here. You get this debug stick by using the give command. So you open up chat and say slash give, and then your username, and then debug stick. And there you have the debug stick. Let's now see five things that you can do with the debug stick. Number one, floating ladders and torches. Both ladders and torches can be placed on a wall as you see here. And with the debug stick, you can change what way they're facing, even though there's no wall there, so they'll end up floating in midair. The same applies to ladders too. On top of that, you can even remove the wall and it will still float in the air. And with ladders, even though it's floating, it's still 100% usable, as you see. Only on one side though. Because this is the side that's inside the wall. Number two. Disconnected corner stairs. It's a rule with stairs. In order to get a corner stair, you'll need to connect that stair to another stair, like so. However, with the debug stick, you can make a corner stair without it connecting to another stair, like you see here. Because a corner stair is a block state, this was really useful for me when working with the diagonal pass of the lower promenade in my stadium for my curve world, as you see here, because it adds an extra shape that you couldn't get with stairs that go right up to where I am. Number three, powering redstone components. All redstone components have block states that change when they receive a redstone signal. However, because a debug stick can change block states, you can become a redstone signal. For example, with a debug stick, you can open and close iron doors, apparently half a door at a time. You can open and close iron trap doors. Turn redstone lamps on and off. Create glitched out pistons. And you can alter redstone itself. On top of that, you can go away from the area and they'll stay like that until you update them. Number four, rotating blocks. Like with the torches, a block's rotation are block states. Therefore, you can rotate blocks such as glazed terracotta, observers, pistons, repeaters, etc. This is useful because you can rotate blocks into a specific rotation that's nearly impossible without the debug stick. This happens when you're making certain redstone contraptions. Number five, interacting with note blocks. Note blocks are filled with different block states. The instruments are block states and so are the notes. Unfortunately, the debug stick won't work if you just right click because you'll change the notes instead. 
However, if you crouch and then right click, you'll change the notes and the instrument in reverse order. Another great thing is the fact that it will show the note number when you change it with the debug stick. No BD Craft note block add on required. Also, if you do overshoot the notes, you can Uno reverse card back to it by letting go of shift and then right clicking on the note block. That's really cool. That's five things you can do with the debug stick. There's still more things you can do with it, but I've just picked out five things. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See ya.